doesn't get more true blue than this, standing in Fort Denison, Sydney Harbour, enjoying gorgeous weather. But do you know what else is true blue? Having a yarn to your neighbours over the back fence, and our neighbours are over there. That's right, way over there are the Kiwis. But you know, sometimes neighbours can get it wrong. The Kiwis have claimed the pavlova is theirs. That's not true, the pavlova is ours. So just to put it out of reach of the Kiwis, I'm going to do the Great Australian Pavlova on the Great Australian Barbecue. You'll never copy that one. You'll need a barbecue with a hood and one of these, an unglazed terracotta tile. Now this one's been soaked in water for about half an hour. It not only helps cook the pavlova, but stops this from cracking on the barbecue. Now, place your tile to one side, light the barbecue, give that 30 minutes to lose the excess moisture and to heat up for cooking. Now I'll need a kitchen to make my pavlova mix. Where is the kitchen on Fort Tennyson? Right under there. For four individual serves, I'm using three egg whites. Drop those into a mixer and whip them until they become soft peaks. Drizzle in half a cup of caster sugar and give that a couple more minutes beating till the sugar dissolves. Next, a few drops of lemon juice, three teaspoons of corn flour and a couple of drops of very good vanilla essence. Once that's completely worked in, Take out a quarter at a time and spread that onto some baking paper ready for hey, the barbecue. Ours has taken about an hour and a half and it's crisp and perfect. Now what we're going to need here is some whipped cream. Dolp that on, just put a little bit of sugar in that if you wish. And look at these fruits. We've got true blue Aussie bush tucker fruits here. There's muntries, there's rosella, there's rye berries, kondong, it's absolutely fantastic in syrup. Remember, for this recipe, only use true blue Aussie bush fruits. No kiwi.